exact flat for SOLIDWORKS. In this example, we're going to take this boat hull modeled in SOLIDWORKS and flatten it into pattern pieces uh, that can be used to send to a cutting table. First, we select, uh, because it's a symmetrical item, we can select the side of the boat hull that uh, we want to deal with. And the first step in our process is we click on the exact flat tools. Let's just start the timer here. And we create pieces. And in this particular situation, what we're going to do is we're just going to select by dragging uh, rather than selecting by clicking on pieces individually. And I think we've got um, oh, perhaps seven pieces or so that we're going to make here. So this should be very quick to do. Yep, and one more piece to go. Oh, it didn't quite get it. Let's just go back and get that. Yep, there we go. And we'll create that piece there. And there's our seventh piece. We'll click OK. And all of our pattern pieces are now created. The next step in our workflow uh, is to convert this to an exact flat part. We do by clicking on convert to exact flat. It's going to update the pattern data by indexing the uh, associations between adjacent pieces. And for this it's not terribly complicated geometry so it should take us about 20 seconds or so to do that. We're prompted then to select a material to go with this. Now this boat hull could have been modeled for uh, fabrication in aluminum or fabrication with fiberglass. In this particular case we're going to pick a carbon fiber and assign that material. We're going to view our pattern pieces and go to our flattening environment. On the left hand side we can see the 3D part. On the right hand side we can see the individual flat pattern pieces. The uh, <coughs> The first step in the process, as usual, is just to create an analysis mesh. So all of the individual pattern pieces are selected. We click on the mesh icon, and the remesher will redraw the vertices and the uh, polygons in the mesh such that the solve time is minimized and the pattern accuracy is maximized. We click on our optimizing uh, algorithm. This is not very complicated geometry, so you can see the optimizer works very quickly. And in fact, it's just about done. Uh, so it's removed most of the stress and the sag from these pieces. And um, just looking at them individually, you can see that they are mostly strain and sag free. I mean, there's a little tiny bit of sag in some places, but certainly well below the tolerances of manufacturing something like this. We'll click OK. And now it's going to uh, prompt us to um, rebuild our pattern piece. Rebuilding will update the SOLIDWORKS geometry from the optimized pattern geometry that was generated by our, 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 our 3D to 2D flattener. And for a part such as this with seven pieces that are relatively uh, uncomplicated, it shouldn't take too long to do that. And there you go. That's flattening a boat hull. It's exact flat for SOLIDWORKS. If anybody has any questions or would like to know more, you can give us a call or visit us on the web at exactflat.com.